Hello, hello, it's Stumplet here. Here's an item on number theory. How many three digit numbers have distinct digits that add up to 21? Credits to the Philippine Mathematical Olympiad for this item. As usual, pause this video if you'd like to give this item a try. But if you're done, let us dive into the solution. Right, the question is that simple. We're just finding three digit numbers with all digits different, adding up to 21. So um, you could kind of do some trial and error. And I'll just give you just an example here. 975 works because, well, if I were to check, um, 21 is equal to 9 plus 7 plus 5. That works. Now, um, but there is a, an interesting thing here because, well, the digit sum, it's not really going to change even if I permute the digits. So for example, I could uh, permute 975 and get like 597. And well, same thing, because I'm adding the same three numbers, so five, nine, and seven. So it's not really gonna matter. So what we can do probably is, again, we did this in a lot of the previous video, we're just gonna, without loss of generality, and just consider just sets of possible triples of numbers. And then we just take care of the permutations after, okay? So we just wanna find all possible triples of numbers first, and then count how many are there, how many are they, and then just kinda permute from there. Now. Going back to the question though, the digit sum is 21. And it's actually pretty big because, well, let's just try to consider the largest possible three digit number with distinct digits. It's, it's gonna be nine, eight, and seven or any permutation of that. And nine plus eight plus seven, that's already 24. So you can kind of imagine that, okay, some cases of 24, 23, 22, and 21, and it's not really going to, um, so there, there shouldn't be that many values for uh, the 21 case. So we could try to list down first. Now, typically, whenever we do something like this, it would be very nice. In this case, let's try to consider what are the possible largest digits. Because I'm, consider I'm considering just the triples. So I could make uh, like a claim here. I'm going to claim that largest digit or the highest digit must be at least 8. Okay, that's my claim. Now, it's very easy to prove this claim. Let's just say without, uh, let's just assume the opposite. Let's just say the largest is a, um, is a seven, obviously. So in this case, let's just say the largest is a seven. What's the largest possible sum that I could make? Well, if the largest is a seven, the largest sum I could be able to, uh, I would be make, making is seven plus six plus five. And that's just equal to 18. Now, obviously it's not gonna work if the largest is six, five, four, three two or one because well obviously the sum is going to get smaller and that's pretty much enough for us to say that okay the largest can't be less than or equal to seven so the claim must be correct the highest digit must be greater than or equal to eight so we already have two cases the highest digit is eight and then the highest digit is nine and let's just kind of do trial and error here it's not that difficult anyways so if the highest digit is eight let's just try to consider what's the largest possible sum eight seven six well, that's already 21 though. So I think that's pretty much uh, enough for us to say that, okay, the only possible triple is 876, if the highest digit is eight. Now next, if the highest digit is nine, um, well, as mentioned a while ago, um, 975 works. Now take a look at what I'm doing. I'm writing down the digits in descending order, just in case I might accidentally permute some of them and like mistakenly thought it for another case, a new case, so yeah. So that's one. Um, I, I say we could add one here, then subtract one here. That's going to give me a new one. Nine, eight, four. Okay. And that's 21. And you, and you guys can actually check. Um, it's That's the only thing. Because for example, we know the highest digit is a nine. So obviously there's going to be a nine. And then we just have to find two numbers that add up to 12. Right? You just kind of have two numbers that add up to 12. Now, there are three ways you can add up to 12. It's just going to be uh, the numbers either 9-3. It's either going to be 9-3, or 7-5. But 9-3 isn't possible. And then the 8-4 and the 7-5, we already kind of covered it already. So there you go. There are no more possible um, answers here. So for the 8 case, we have one possible triple, 8-7-6. And then for the second case, we have two possible triples, 9-7-5 and then 9-8-4. Going back to what I mentioned a while ago, we're just going to permute a lot of these, right? We have three cases, and we know that for each case, the three digits are different, and none of them are zero, so that's good. 
we could have an additional 3 factorial to permute the digits. So 3 times 3 factorial, 3 factorial is 6, so 3 times 6, that's going to give us the final answer of 18, alright? And that's, that's it. Hopefully you guys learned something new from this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.